Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is curves? The get curve range nodes. So we're going to cover two nodes in this video, and they're pretty simple. We're going to take in a curve. Now keep in mind it can be any curve. These two nodes are universal. They'll take a flow curve, a linear curve, a vector curve. It really doesn't matter. And it's going to output a minimum and a maximum value. In this case, a time or an actual value itself. Let's go ahead and hook up this first one. We're going to look at the get time range node. The intent of this is basically what is our lowest amount of time? Negative numbers are valid. And what is our greatest amount of time? and negative values are still valid as well. Basically, on our curve, let's say for example, here's our float curve. Here's our float curve one second. If we were to look at this, what is our farthest left time and what is our farthest right time? Now, if we were to run this example, we're gonna find in the top left, zero is gonna be our minimum. And if we were plugging our maximum, well, hopefully you'll get the right answer of one because we have in our curve, zero is the lowest and one is our most. Now let's find one of our other curves. There you have this curve right here. And this curve is, well, kind of funky as you can see here. We have a bunch of different things. Let's go ahead and fit it and you can see we have like negative one and we go over here to two seconds then we have some things that go up and down in terms of value. If we plug this curve in, so we have that one selected, let's go ahead and plug that in as the curve we're gonna use here. And let's go ahead and run this as the minimum and hit play. M to print, and I have negative one. Our maximum, if we hit play, is gonna give us two. And that makes sense since our time range, if we look at our curve, does go from negative one as our leftmost value to two as our rightmost. Now the range works the same way, except it's gonna give us the minimum and maximum values. So we'll go ahead and plug in that same curve, the one to two second curve, and we'll tell it, ask it what our minimum value is. And it's gonna tell us our minimum value is negative 0.12. Now if we look on our curve and we look, well, we don't have any points down here on the negative. However, we do have a value down here, negative 0.12 right here. It doesn't have to be a point to be a returned value. Remember, these these are just key points. The actual curve is this entire thing and all of the values encompassing the curve. So our lowest value in this range is going to be down here. And our highest value is going to be up here. So if we go ahead and ask it for our highest value, our maximum, and hit play, we're going to find a 2.25. And if we look at our curve, well, yeah, look, 2.25 is going to be pretty much the top end of our curve here. Those are pretty much the two nodes and what they do. Our time range gives us from the far left to the far right, minimum and maximum. And our value range gives us from the bottom for the minimum and the top for the max. And it does not, doesn't include, it doesn't need to be a key point, a key in order to be a valid value. The curve is the entire curve. Any value along the curve counts as our leftmost and rightmost, maximum and minimum. For the most part, your leftmost and rightmost, your time will be key points because that's the way the key points are designed. But your ranges for your values will not necessarily be, as you saw, the keys. That is going to wrap up the get range nodes.